Bring it back. What's going on everybody? Cold Blooded here and check it out guys. Brand new work light. Um, you may have caught a glimpse of it in some of my previous videos. This thing's awesome. I know I showed you guys this auto chopper I think four days ago. So I'm going to show you how to put this work light on top of it. Now it looks pretty clean and uh, my biggest issue is every time I've ever put a work light up here, you know, you'll get kids coming up and uh, trying to push it off. It's kind of a pain. So, I uh, I'd always meant on meant to uh, make something to contain it. Now this seems a little bit oversized, and it is. Um, you guys can see right there in front of you. I have like a little smaller version of it. I haven't uh, finished yet, just because I started doing other things. <laughs> I need to come back to it and finish it. But um, I'm going to show you guys how to make this real quick. Now I'm having trouble with laying, getting this post centered. So all I'm going to do is. First, clear this out of the way, and then I'm going to change blueprints. Okay. The only reason why I'm pulling this out is so I have something to push it up against because, as you can see, it doesn't want to center, which makes no sense because this is eight units um, wide and it should center itself. So, I'm just going to use this as like a guide to center my um, post here. I don't know why I forgot the name of a post. <laughs> okay. Uh, do, do, do. Oh crap, I brought it out way too far and I'm a unit too high. Let's destroy some of these. Oh, oh, what was that? Okay. I'll go unit below that. Come on. Oh, I got it. Okay. So those blueprints are no good no more. Those they were they were just guides, so here we are. The okay, first thing you need is this post that you see right here. Okay, now what holds the uh, work light down is um, a 1x2 wedge. As you can see, I already pre-chopped some wood here for me to work with. Now obviously you guys can make this whatever color you want. As you can see across the screen, um, that's the green one I built here. Since this is my Christmas base, I'm trying to keep everything Christmas themed. So you guys are also kind of getting a sneak peek on what's going on with that base. I haven't started recording again because, uh, you know, it's October. I should be doing a Halloween video. And I will be. <laughs> I think I'm going to start recording my Halloween video tomorrow, actually. Um, oh, maybe not. Maze change is tomorrow. So stay tuned for the maze change. Plus, possibly a giveaway. <laughs> Alright. So we're going to need to center these two... Um, What's it called? It uh, panes of glass. Man, that was a brain fart. Wow. Okay, center those two panes of glass. Oh, one of them actually deleted itself, or not deleted itself. It um went invisible. What happened was I got to save. So it's there. Um, actually, it's not there. It'll be on the ground. It's not a big deal. Um, I'll just get it back next time I reload. Okay, but you obviously get the point. Two panes of glass right there in the middle, and then. Um, this part right here, where I'm putting these two wedges, uh, you need to put these um, two by two tiles. I think they are the sm yeah the small tile. And the reason being is this um, work light is a little bit larger on the base because of that um, rail it's got there, like the stand for it, I should say. So I put these wedges, these wedges, these tiles here, so that way it allows space for it to sit um, just fine. So I think I have to rotate this. Let's see. Um, come on. You guys know the the issues with tiles. Um, oh, what did I do? Okay. So I couldn't get it to drop, and like you guys seen before, if you can't get something to place, um, just put like a little guide there. So I say I'm gonna put this down here one down here and what that's going to do is it's going to let me push that tile right up against it so I won't have an issue getting it to drop anymore. Boom. See? Look how easy that was. I fought with it a little bit. I should have just done this right from the start. But here we are. Okay. There's that one. Destroy. Oh, here's my pane of glass. Look. It didn't disappear. Oh, 
Oh, wait. I'm sorry. I previously recorded this. I remember now. I asked um, Alice right there to, to grab the pane of glass and put it up there for me because I was not able to see it. Okay. So now we're going to put down these one by one unit pieces. This is going to make the border for your um, light to sit through. Now I think, know you're thinking it's a real small thing, you know, but here's the thing. You can technically cover this light up completely and the light's still going to pass through it. Even though the opening's too small, it's not going to matter. And um, it's not exactly much smaller than the actual lens on that light anyways. So, I mean, it works out just fine. All right. Oh, I dropped a piece way over here. Okay, put this back over here on the pile. All right, let's see. Next, what should we do? I think it's a... No, it's a solid piece. No, they're little ones. Okay. It's been a while since I had built this thing. Okay, so on the top, you cancel that. It's going to be... A post across the front. Uh, post right there. <laughs> post across the front. And then... Two tiny floors... Coming back. On either side. The reason being for this, again, is we need to be able to fit um, the top part. You see it has that handle on the top? We need to fit that up there. Now, though I made it bulky, I still didn't want it to be that big. Um, I could have made it this size and, you know, strapped something in the back and made it much smaller. But I just put that curve to it because I thought it would kind of look cool on there. Um, I'm going to decorate the whole sawmill, so... It'll look a lot better in the long run. You guys will see in the in the videos to come. Um, well, in December. Maybe I'll start actually start doing it at the end of November, right after uh, Thanksgiving actually passes. I'll maybe just get a jump on it. Fighting with this work light a little bit. Um, well, I didn't do this in the video, but what I should have done was just put another little... Um, like a couple one-unit pieces, a couple tiny floors behind these wedges. So feel free to do that in your video if you want. Um, I believe there's actually even space to go and put two more one by two wedges, um, like going up, or you could probably even use a two by four wedge instead, two by four by one. That would work just fine. But I, I don't know. I wasn't thinking when I made this in here, so let's just stick it in. Okay. Um, next thing we're gonna need is the small tile, almost called it a floor, and that's going to sit right on the top, just like that, see? So from the outside, nobody's going to know there's tiles there on either, well, there's three small tiles we've used now, it'll look just fine, um, and I haven't had an issue with this work light moving once yet, it has sat still the whole time. Okay, then we are going to use some of these uh, 2 by 4 I think this is the short smooth wall, the, the like half one. I mean, you could use a stubby um, smooth wall too, but it's just basically a two by four unit uh, piece of the wall. So you're gonna let me place it because of that work light. Come on. Oh, got it. Sweet. Okay, one here and one there. Do, 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 do. Now I need a one by four wedge. Got to rotate, rotate, and rotate. That goes on top. Okay, let's fill in some blueprints because we got a lot of stuff out there right now. Couple more pieces. Who here is loving this new building ability? I mean, it is amazing time saver. Um, well, my auto chopper is an amazing time saver as well. <laughs> but uh, the fact that you don't need that much wood, man, possibilities are endless. Whoa. Okay. Do, do, do. One more piece. And there it is. 
Alright guys, uh, the video had cut out there so I restarted it back up, but you guys didn't miss anything. Okay, so two more tiny floors, uh, two on each side, and then we only have two more blueprints to put down after this. We need a 1x2x4 wedge, and that's going the right direction, awesome. And then we need a one by one by four wedge. And that is the last one. That's what wraps it up. Let's just fill it. And then I will show you guys the final product in yellow. Cause you've already seen it in green. <laughs> I kind of like the yellow wood for any um, like thing you add on to the sawmills. Like those rails I have on my auto chopper. On one of my other bases, I do have the rails in yellow. I, I, it just makes it look like it's industrial. It gives it like, you know, how they have the caution tape and guard rails. It's all yellow for a reason. And I mean, I think that that really adds to them. It kind of gives it, like I said, that industrial look, which is awesome. Look at that. It's like I knew how many pieces it Well, I mean, it's not exact, but I only had five left, which is still pretty awesome. <laughs> and there you have it, guys. A sawmill work light. Now this thing covers the area pretty well. Um, it goes right up to where that conveyor is. And then, uh, I don't know, I just put this other work light just to cover this end of it. Not even really necessary, but I just kind of wanted to put a work, different work light, really. It was just an excuse to build this work light, to be honest. <laughs> but, um, so yeah, that's, that's the uh, yellow wood uh, or sawmill spotlight, I guess I should say. Thanks for watching.